Hello, Kulas. Welcome back to Viva Barca, the home of everything Barcelona, where we are going to be discussing on the latest on FC Barcelona as usual. We are going to start with President Juan Laporta, who have been talking about Usman Dembele lately, and of course, stressing the fact that he hopes Usman Dembele rethinks his situation. Of course, he still hopes that the winger will stay. We are going to be discussing much on what the president said about Dembele as we progress. Then also, still talking about Juan Laporta, who have been talking a lot about Barcelona's improved performances. Of course, he sent a message of support to manager Javi Hernandez. We are going to be looking at what he had to say to the manager regarding the improved performance of our team lately. Then to conclude, we are going to be talking about Yuri Cruyff. Of course, Yuri Cruyff also have reacted to Barcelona's improved performances lately. So guys, as we get right into it, please do well to subscribe to this channel. If you haven't subscribed, we are on our way to 10,000 subscribers. I would really appreciate if you do so. Give this video a like and also please make sure to watch the video right up to the very end. Barca, Barca, Barca. FC Barcelona president Juan Laporta has spoken regarding the situation with Usman Dembele. The French winger has a contract expiring at the end of the season, but he performed well in the last match. Dembele refused to accept Barcelona's terms to extend his contract over the winter, with rumors suggesting the forward would be permanently benched by the club. Barcelona's manager, Javi Hernandez, has stuck by Dembele despite resentment from some sections of the media and the fans. He was a key decision maker in terms of allowing Dembele to continue playing this season. Against Athletic Club, Dembele scored one and assisted two in a 4-0 victory. He seemed motivated to contribute and you know his hug with Javi Hernandez after his goal also showed there was some genuine affection there. Dembele knows our offer and we have always wanted for him to stay. We hope that in the end he thinks about it again, Laporta said. In addition, the president spoke of Pedri, who sparkled in Barca's win as well. He said, Pedri is called to be one of the best players in the world, if not the best, but he knows he has to work a lot, the president said. So, talking about Dembele's situation and what Laporta said, it's very important that the president still thinks about that possibility and hoping for Dembele to rethink about the situation, which I personally think if Dembele does that, it will be so good. It will make a lot of sense because that game against Athletic Club, I saw a Dembele playing with professionalism. He plays as though there's nothing wrong. He played as though whatever whistles are out there whistling at him, it makes no sense to him. Dembele played the game with so much, um, you know, with so much passion. So between now and then, you know, talking about the summer transfer window, if Dembele can rethink about the situation and change his mind, make a U-turn, it will be something to celebrate, really something to celebrate because this guy brings a lot to this team. It will be a big miss if Dembele leaves. And the game against Athletic, when I saw him play, I was like, Dembele should better change his decision. We hope that both parties come to a compromise that Dembele will extend his stay. So I think if President Laporta is coming out to say, we wish Dembele rethink about the situation. It's very clear, right? The performance he gave that day against Athletic Club have pushed the president in saying such words, which I understand him very well. Dembele is still a very good player. And I love the way he handled the pressure. I love the way he played the game. He was supposed to be the man of the match, but I don't know how, I don't know why it was given to Aubameyang. Aubameyang played great, but I think the man of the match was supposed to be either Pedri or Usman Dembele. You can see the instant impact. I can't remember the last time I saw such an instant impact coming out from the bench in the second half. It's quite incredible. Three players scoring in the second half who came from the bench. The first time ever in Barca's history that that have ever happened. That three substitutes score in one game. So we just have to keep our fingers crossed, hoping for the best, hoping for a change in mind, hoping for an understanding between FC Barcelona and Dembele's representative come summer. Then on to the next story of discussion, still talking about Juan Laporta. Of course, the president have published a message of support for his coach Javi Hernandez on Twitter. He said, this is the way to success, he wrote in Catalan, Spanish and English. Because it seems that it is Barcelona have improved 
you know, remarkably, since Xavi took over the first team at the Camp Nou from Ronald Koeman towards the end of 2021 and sit fourth in La Liga, having won three consecutive matches for the first time this season. They are currently a point behind third place Real Betis with a game in hand following their 4 0 um, trashing of Athletic Club on Sunday and Real Betis 2 1 defeat to Sevilla in the El Grand Derby. They are also motoring along nicely in Europe, having just beaten Napoli 5 3 on aggregate to qualify for the last 16 of the Europa League. Xavi has recruited well, you know, during the January transfer window and is managing to you know, blend experience with some genuinely exciting young talent. Most of all, however, he is gradually returning to a playing style more in line with what he would call the Barcelona way of playing, high pressing, front foot and genuinely positive football. So it's evidently clear Xavi is bringing up this team to the way, to the level that we all want it to be, dominating games again, competing, dominating Europe again. You know, we can see the way they play. It's really really interesting to see this is the bass of old we are gradually seeing coming back and javi is the man for the job javi was the best option for the job it's all about patience considering how broken this team was you know since messi's departure even before messi's departure you know and seeing how javi is gradually building the team back is really really something interesting to see so we just need to stay patient to see Barca becoming the Barca of old and it's a matter of time and I, I don't believe it's going to take a long such a long time for Xavi to bring back the Barca of old and next season will be a season that Barca compete again if Xavi can end this season with in such a high note then next season will be a season of competing for titles and we hope things work out the way we want. Then on to the final story of discussion, Yuri Cruyff has issued his verdict on Barcelona's impressive performances. Barcelona continued a fine run with a comfortable win over a solid athletic club on Sunday night. Xavi Hernandez's men scored four against one of the best defenses in La Liga and it meant they kept control of fourth spot while also moving to within a point of Real Betis in third. Barca couldn't catch a breath in the first half of the season, swapping managers before falling out of the Champions League. But after a difficult start, Xavi is now turning a corner at the Camp Nou and suddenly there is nothing but optimism following 5 wins in 7 and no defeat in that time. Barcelona have now scored 12 goals in 3 games, scoring 4 in each of those outings. But why impressed, former Barca star and current advisor to President Juan Laporta, Yuri Cruyff, has advised Javis men to take it game by game, despite their evident confidence. He said, The results of our direct rivals forced us to win and we wanted to continue having those good feelings, he told Sport. The most important thing, despite being optimistic, is to go game by game. The team is ascending and now that we face the final stretch, it is important to continue in an ascending line. So colors, with that we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Hope you did enjoy the video and also hope you did subscribe. If you haven't, please make sure to do so so you stay up to date with the latest on FC Barcelona here on Viva Barca. Until next time, bye-bye.